Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a little bit of unpacking. Because we are back home, we actually got back home yesterday and I did put a little bit of things away like the snacks and like the um, stuff that goes in the fridge. So all the stuff that I have in front of the front door is really just like our clothes, our dirty clothes and stuff that I need to put away. And then I thought I might as well bring you guys along because I do have some cleaning to do. Since we've been gone, I um, we've been here I think two or three times and the kids, you know, play with the stuff. And I just kind of was like, you know what, just put it in your room, leave it, whatever, we'll clean it when we get back. So we weren't putting everything where it was supposed to go when we got, or when we came to visit while we were gone for the couple weeks. So that is the kind of stuff that we have to clean up today. I do need to go in the kids' room and take their sheets and everything off. Even though Layla was not in Liam's bed and she slept in it last night and she was clean after her shower, I just figured I would go ahead and clean all of her sheets. If you guys can't tell already, I'm sitting on a new couch. There are, are things in the house my mom actually redecorated and it looks super cute. I'm actually going to show you guys not in this video, so sorry. Make sure you um, keep yourself on the lookout for that video because I will be posting that one. I want you guys to see the cute little decor and pictures she added to the house and the couch but yeah today is going to be an unpack with me and tidy up and we're gonna go ahead and get into this so Layla are you ready to help mommy clean yeah <laughs> you know that I'm a keep it cool with you I feel like breaking rules on the edge looking now with no parachute you know I'm dreaming about us I'm just going to start in the kids room. I'm just going to pick all their toys up at first and move everything around so that way I can go ahead and start cleaning up. I am going to take their sheets off of their bed so I can go ahead and wash those. And I do have a basket that I have old clothes in that I did take to a place called Once Upon a Child that you can actually earn cash for. And the clothes that they did not take, obviously they give back to you. And I do end up taking them to Goodwill and just donating them because I have no use for them. Another thing I wanted to ask, I have this little play mat on the floor and it is on the carpet obviously. But you see the little play mat on the floor that I fix? We recently had to take that out of our kids room because we realized that when we pulled it up to vacuum it, it started to feel wet wherever the mat was. And it just felt like somebody went in there and just poured water all over where the mat was it was really weird so I'm just curious if that has happened to anybody who actually owns the same kind of mat that we have it's just a plastic little mat car thing that he can play on with like his little cars and I used to have one when I was little and I remember these being in our classrooms when we were in elementary school but ours is plastic and it's not carpet material and it was just really weird how it made the floor feel like it was wet so i'm just curious if anybody else has have done that if not i don't know what's wrong with ours but here i am i'm going to just clean up layla's stuff because she likes to just throw everything under her bed or in her little storage cubby and it all does not go together i have one little storage bin for her baby dolls one for just like her miscellaneous stuff and then the other is for like her headbands and stuff that goes with her costumes and then obviously on the bottom I put all her stuffed animals but she likes to just come in here and throw everything wherever she likes so sometimes I just have to come in here and organize it so that's what we're doing we are picking up their room and just organizing everything So you'll see that it is a little bit different than my other video I posted with her clothes in the bins. This video was actually taken before and I just haven't gotten around to editing it or uploading it and the other one was actually a collaboration so I had to upload that one before but I'm 
always bring you guys the cleaning motivation and i hope you guys enjoy this video even though it is not updated like our clothes are right now but i love to bring you guys cleaning motivation so i'm hoping that you guys enjoy this video if you did and you are still with me please leave a heart down below whatever color you choose and just know that just let me know that you're still going along with me and i'm giving you all the motivation to get you up and cleaning you know no no they would speak from my heart so we could make it right without a fight you know no no imagine what would happen if we did it right So I'm just gonna move on to our room. I'm just gonna clean up this little area where my husband keeps all of his like gaming and electronics. This is his little corner over here. So I'm just gonna rearrange and organize everything and just wipe everything down over here because it does get a little messy. And I have so many papers that I need to put away. This is my little spot where the papers have been piling up, unfortunately. So we're gonna try and get those in under our bed very soon, but this video, I do not do that. So I'm really hoping that I can actually get into the habit of putting all of my papers underneath my bed and not just piling them up. I just hate taking that container out and having to put it back. It's a little bit of a pain, but I am just wiping everything down because this does get a little dirty. I do already have our sheets in the washer, so you will already see that my, sh my bed is taken apart. And I am going to be unpacking all of our stuff today and putting our clothes away. And that is what you guys will see in the video coming very shortly. So we're just going to clean up and organize everything and just make sure everything is good to go. Since my mom has redecorated like the whole house, I actually have taken some of her old stuff to keep in case we need it whenever we get our own place. So I just have a bunch of stuff lying around that she just keeps giving me. And hopefully we'll, ta we'll take it to the pod and get it out of our room. Oh, and another thing I wanted to bring it to your guys' attention is that I am going to be doing another video where I clean up my closet. 
my closet is so dirty you guys it's not even funny and i wear like five percent of the stuff that's in my closet so i really need to just go in and declutter and organize i really need to go in and get rid of all the clothes that i do not wear or that do not fit um i've lost about i would say 20 pounds so there's probably a bunch of stuff in there that is just way too big and just doesn't fit or i just don't like how it fits me that i just need to get rid of and i can actually take that to another place that i like to take my stuff to and try and sell it for is called plato's closet so it's the same concept as the once upon a child it's just you don't you can't sell kids clothes there you can only sell like teenager or like kids fashion there so it's more for like rue 21 or for like american eagle so like if you were to go to target or if you were to go to walmart like they wouldn't take your clothes they would send it back home with you so they just have their own rules just like once upon a child so i can always do that declutter and organize closet for you guys very soon so that way you guys have another motivational cleaning video so just be on the lookout for that because my closet is driving me crazy and i know i'm gonna end up doing it very very soon so i'm just cleaning up and yes i have ocd so i probably touched the same thing about a thousand times and organize it and put it in the right spot to where like i just feel like it's in the right spot it's a really weird um thing to explain having ocd unless you actually have it so you you really i don't think understand until you actually have it so i just have to do the same thing over and over again until it actually feels right it's very annoying but yes i try and get over that so now I'm just going to go ahead and unpack everything and we're going to put everything away and start to get the room put back together. Watch me break it So I do have a big garbage bag full of our dirty clothes. I'm going to separate them between the kids' clothes and mine and my husband's clothes, obviously, to put them in our dirty hamper so that way I can get to washing them. And this is going to be the end result to my video. I am coming to an end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this motivational cleaning and unpack with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any recommendations on what kind of videos you would like to see in the near future, I would love to hear it. Please let me know down in the comments below. I would always love to engage with you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Let me live by you, talking in silver. 